Super Bowl Sunday, February 11th, Chiefs versus Niners, you guys. Two player props in today's video. Again, the last NFL video of the season. It's been a wild, fun ride this NFL season. Obviously, M this is the final video of the NFL season. NBA in full effect here, um, definitely after this weekend. Back to the daily NBA uh, player prop videos. And then obviously going to have daily MLB and WNBA videos once those seasons start as well. Uh, I do want to mention you guys take a look in the description below of this video. Hop into our premium Discord. $9.30 per month. It's where I post all the plays I'm making on price picks. We also have other premium cappers in there as well. They post all their plays, research, and analysis. Super positive community in there. Everyone is trying to help each other cash. I also want to mention I'm not a gambling expert and this is not financial advice. These are simply just the plays I'm personally looking at making. Hopefully give you guys some insight and analysis to then make your own player prop decisions here. Again, no one's pressing submit on those parlays other than yourselves. But let's get into it, you guys. Obviously, this game has a ton of hype around it. I think it's on paper one of the better uh, Super Bowls we've seen, at least in the last couple of years, in my opinion. A one and a half point spread, 47 and a half over under. Um, weather obviously not going to be a factor here in Las Vegas. Um, and yeah, these two teams met in the Super Bowl back uh, right before... Uh, the pandemic in 2020 obviously the chiefs won that super bowl completely different teams on both sides um going from that one to this one but nonetheless i got two player props that i am targeting from uh this game obviously super bowl uh sunday february 11th uh we do have the patrick mahomes free square over on price picks as well but again check out looks in the description below check out all the links drop a like on this video and hit the subscribe button if you have not yet already but yeah let's not waste any time you guys let's just get into this video so the first play is going to be brock purdy both, both these plays are going to be quarterback, by the way. It's going to be Brock Purdy, 67.5 pass completion. I'm going to go with the under, the less than 67.7 67 sorry pass completion percentage for Brock Purdy. Now, we look over on Outlier. Again, Outlier is a uh, research betting tool that I do use every single day, you guys. Highly, highly recommend. You get a seven-day free trial with Outlier um, with the link in the description below of this video. But his pass completion percentage, right? If we look at Brock Purdy, he's under this line actually in four of his last five games. He's gone under this line. And in the two playoff games, he's had 59% pass completion. And then he's had 64.5% um, pass completion, right? So we talk about Brock Purdy. And obviously, going back to the beginning of the season, he hit this line a ton, right? He was a very, very high completion percentage type of quarterback. But I think... Again, I, I'm a fan of Brock Purdy. I, th I think he's a great quarterback, and I think he's a great story, and he's obviously the leader of this 49ers team. So I'm not taking anything away from him because I know that is a narrative that, that people have in general. But we look at Brock Purdy under and four of his last five. So I think these defenses and the defensive coordinators are kind of starting to get a grasp of um, Brock Purdy's strengths and weaknesses. And I think the, the Kansas City Chiefs obviously have had ample time to think about these weaknesses, and the Chiefs are just an absolute elite, elite, elite pass defense. Now, we look at uh, quarterbacks game long this season versus the Chiefs, including the playoffs, right? We look at Lamar Jackson, right? 54% pass completion. Josh Allen, 66.7. Tua, 51.3. Easton Stick, 59.6. Jake Browning, 57.6. Aiden O'Connell, 42.9. Um, and then Josh Allen, 54.8. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of the last, seven of the last, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Yeah, so seven of the last eight quarterbacks to face the Chiefs have gone under this line. And if we even take that even longer, um, eight, nine, ten, uh, what is that? Like ten, ten of the last 13 quarterbacks to face the Chiefs have gone under this line. Now, I think that coincides with the Chiefs obviously just being a, an elite pass defense. They've been an elite pass defense all season long. We look at Brock Purdy, right? In the amount of times, like I talked about, he's gone under this line in both playoff games. And we're under this line in, in games against Arizona and Baltimore, right? We look at Brock Purdy in games this season when he's gone under this line, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven games this season he's gone under this line, obviously in four of his last five, like I said. But Cleveland, 44.4% pass completion percentage. Look at the number one team, the number one defense as far as pass completion percentage um, defense goes, or up to opponents. The Cleveland Browns, right, allow the few lowest pass completion percentage in the NFL. Right, that's where Brock Purdy had its lowest uh, pass completion percentage game against the next team, the Baltimore Ravens, fifty-six point three against the Ravens. Right, we look at them, the Ravens here, fifth bet, fifth lowest pass completion percentage to opponents. The Steelers right here, sixth lowest pass completion percentage. We see Brock Purdy versus the Steelers, sixty-five point five. Okay, so we're talking about three of the teams that are in the top six and lowest pass completion percentage to the quarterback position brock purdy has gone under this line against them now we look at the kansas city chiefs right they are the eighth lowest pass completion percentage but right below them is the 49ers i mean sorry the detroit lions and we know how brock purdy just had to finish against them 64 and a half so 67.7 
pass completion percentage just seems a little bit too high for Brock Purdy in this matchup. I mean, he can go 25 for 37, only, uh, you know, miss 12 passes and go under the sign at 67.6. Right? I just think there's so many ways for this line to go under. Obviously, the Chiefs have a horrible, or not a horrible, but their run defense is not as strong as their pass defense. Their pass defense is really what has carried them all season long. So I definitely look at um, you know, the, the 49ers looking to run the ball with McCaffrey a ton in this game. Um, and I just think it's a, a great fade here. I like that Price Picks is putting these lines up on the board at pass completion percentage. So again, first play here, Brock Purdy. I think the the, the Chiefs and Steve Spagnuolo, the, the Chiefs defense, um, has had a lot of time to work on Brock Purdy specifically and things that he does do well and doesn't do well. And I think this is, again, I don't want to do volume really um, because I think volume is kind of hit or miss depending on game flow. But the completion percentage is one um, that I think in the Super Bowl, obviously, with all the stakes in the line, not saying Brock Purdy is going to get nervous, um, but one that I think we can target here. So under less than Brock Purdy, 67 and a half completion percentage is the first play second play here is going to be a first half prop here and i gotta go mahomes over nine fantasy score now i'm not like picking these plays because i think the chiefs are going to win um one way or another but i just think mahomes in the first half especially over these last couple playoff games um has been has been pretty strong and the chiefs have come out uh, pretty strong as well so 13.48 fantasy in the first half against miami had 8.26 against buffalo and 12.24 um against the baltimore ravens now if we look at similar type of defenses, right? The Ravens are the best defense in the NFL. The best defense, the Chiefs are the second, and the Niners are the fourth, the third, sorry, and the Bills are the fourth, okay? So we look at, essentially, Patrick Mahomes has faced the Bills and the Ravens in, in, in the playoffs so far, and he's had uh, 8.26 8 and, and 12.24. So gotten close and cleared this line against both these tough defenses. Now, the Niners are completely kind of different defense. They're really good over the middle, but they do have some weaknesses, um, as I feel like any type of defense kind of has. Um, but Patrick Mahomes, we take a look here, um, his fantasy score game log this season. Now, he hasn't had the strongest season, but he has been coming on as of late, right? And even last week against the, the Ravens were in that second half, they were kind of run heavy. I think Pacheco ran the ball like 24 times um, we know that the chiefs force pass attempts they allow actually the most pass attempts in the nfl and if we take a look at patrick mahomes right and over on outlier again chiefs pass attempts the most pass attempts in the nfl and allow the ninth highest pass completion percentage but we look at mahomes his passing touchdowns sorry Mahomes passing touchdowns, the odds for this are pretty pretty insane. So minus 195 on Caesars, minus 166 over on DraftKings to go over one and a half passing touchdowns. And if we kind of take a look at what nine fantasy score points kind of looks like at the bare minimum. So we're talking about 107 passing yards, uh, one passing touchdown and, and rushing yards would have the over on this line. It would finish with 9.18 fantasy points in the first half. Um, just given how I think, again, I don't think, I'm not giving a prediction on who's going to win this game, but given how I do think early on, at least I think the Niners offense will struggle a little bit against that Patriots pass defense. Uh, I definitely think Patrick Mahomes will get a couple more possessions than, than Brock Purdy in this one, which obviously benefits him in the first half to score nine fantasy points. So again, Brock Purdy under 67 and a half pass completion percentage. Um, and then Patrick Mahomes over nine fantasy score in the first half. It's two, two player props here for the Super Bowl, both quarterbacks. I wanted to, you know, keep this as simple as possible. Again, drop a like on this video, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Check out all the links in the description below. Appreciate everyone for rocking with me this NFL season. And as always, let's cash.